Welcome back. The Marlins trailing one nothing bottom of the third here in the home opener albeit on August 14th but the home opener Paul Severino Todd Hollinsworth with you Marlins CEO Derek Jeter joins us as well. Uh, Derek I know that while most of the world is kind of shut down these last couple of months it's been even more than that for this ballpark that's been revamped in a number of different ways I mean, we could start with the uh, the walls and the dimensions out in center and right center field and also the turf. What do you make of it. Yeah we you know it's it's we've been excited to actually get on it now and start playing but um, you know you, you talk about the turf this isn't old school turf Todd when we came mm -hmm. up and, and playing on the artificial surface I mean, I used your knees after those games. Yeah this is as close to natural grass as you can get and you know we have our fair share of challenges here with the roof and maintaining the, the natural grass so it was important for us to put a surface down that our players are comfortable with and and more importantly that uh, you know plays like the real thing. So we're excited to have the new turf down. We moved the walls in. I get tired of hearing about people complaining <laughs> about all these long fly balls that always get caught. So we moved the walls and fences in a little bit but uh, we're happy. The park looks good and I'm glad we're finally here playing the game. Welcome back to Marlins Park. It's the Marlins first game of 2020 here at Marlins Park and they've seen some changes and we're not just talking about the health and safety protocols we're talking about changes on the field starting with the synthetic grass surface that I have here in front of me so here's a sample of what the guys are playing on on the field so if you take a look we can see the four different layers starting with the fiber on the top and followed by the geofield, the sand, and the shock pad that does just that, absorbs the shock. What's really, really cool about this particular synthetic grass surface is that it's the closest system to natural grass that's ever been measured. We heard CEO Derek Jeter talk about it. They did their research behind this. The Marlins players and everyone else in the league have played on this surface before when they played in Arizona, and they had the chance to test it out during summer camp for three weeks. They were out there getting their reps, even simulating games going back and forth from taking their breaks in the dugout and just kind of figuring out how it would feel on their bodies and so far so good and it looks fantastic it absolutely does uh, Kelly thank you very much it, it looks like real grass and this is just part of the installation process I mean this was not anything like all right just rip it up level out the dirt and then uh, roll out a carpet it's not that at all I think when we were here for uh, Fan Fest way back when in, uh, in February, it was in that darkish green stage, whatever layer that was, uh, as Grant Dayton is into the ball game here for the Braves. But from what I, what I understand, the, uh, the Marlins Park facilities folks led by Jeff King and many others, they had to actually pick what shades of green they wanted. Like that's how... <laughs> How finite the details were. Well, when you look at it, I mean, you see it on the field, right? It's not that it's cut in it, you know, like we talk about the grass, right? Having played on it. So to get the look of the lines, you would cut it in one direction and cut it in the opposite direction going back the other way. And so you would get that beautiful look. Of course, this is an artificial surface. So there you go. You're like, all right, well, wait a minute. How, if this is an artificial surface. How do you get those beautiful lines like that? Well, now you know. Yeah, it's, it, it's beautiful. Again, it's the same surface that they have in Arizona another spot with a retractable roof where uh, it's hard to keep real grass looking big league through the course of a summer 